I'm up here in the northern part of Ethiopia with farmers looking at this irrigation system that Troka has helped set up. So we're meeting this local lady here and she's got a barrel and she's collecting water. I came here just to collect water. So she's putting stones into her barrel. How come? To make it clean, we use these sands to make it clean first before we, we put the water inside. So the stones make it clean. <laughs> This water that she's going to drink, um, it's relatively clean, isn't it? It's, it's natural water. It's natural. She's taking it from a particular area, a clean spring. Yeah. I would have to normally carry something this yeah, big. 20 litres, and the woman is going straight up a hill, about 20 minutes up a hill for it. But as you see, it's a lot of children carry this as well, this, and they might do it before they start school. So I'm going to try and lift this can. Oh, my goodness. And now I'm expected to basically walk up this hill with this heavy, heavy barrel of water. I'm going to have to stop. I've got another 20 minutes up a hill um, and it really is quite heavy. And this is what people around here have to do every day so they can have some clean water. I probably took about six steps and I'm exhausted. So this stick, it helps your teeth. How? Okay, you know, Can I? I'm cleaning my teeth right now. It helps me uh, not, to, not to become dirty, my teeth. She's climbing the tree just so I can brush my teeth. She's going to get me a good stick. So I get this little bit here, this bit, and I put it in my mouth. Like that, yeah? Hold it in your okay. teeth and you can round it. Uh, uh, uh. You can round it. Strongly around it. It tastes like tree. Mm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm just approaching the bull and he's staring at me and he doesn't seem too happy. I think I've annoyed him with my red microphone. <laughs> oh no, Jesus! The two cattle with big horns have escaped and the farmers have chased after them. I'm having a chat with Gurgis here and she's just given me uh, this carrot. How difficult is it to um, work on this land? Before it was really difficult because we couldn't get water and we were not really harvesting the irrigation site. But after this canal has been constructed, thanks be to God that we are producing different type of fruits, different type of uh, vegetables, and we are uh, getting benefit out of it. So I'm going to try and have a go here at, at um, pulling these out, so I'm not going to find any. Oh, here, here. Oh, look. No more, no more. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I broke the carrot in two as I was axing it out of the ground. Don't question it. I'm not sure I'm going to make, make a great no, no. farmer. <laughs> I'm up here in the northern part of Ethiopia with Trokra and as you can see we've got running water behind us and that's because of a new irrigation system. So the local farmers now can farm three times a year and they can actually get something out of their crops. So every time you put a few cents into your Trokra box it trickles down to here and it helps thousands of families.